What's up guys, Deadly Brit, and I'm back with another video, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get Borns. Borns Searing Spite, uh, Borns Impunity, and... Uh, where is it? Borns Heart of Steel. Now, I'm on normal playthrough on this, uh, normal difficulty, I only got the game yesterday, so obviously I don't want to push myself and, you know, and be dying constantly. But, um... In the second part of the video, I'll quickly show you where you're supposed to get it. But once you get the plans, it's the actual plans, obviously, you need uh, in order to build it. Come back here. Come to ba uh, sorry. Come back to Hedrig, and it's the weapon. It's the sword. Is is what you want now? Under required materials, you will see two fireballs. Well, they look like fireballs to me. Um, to get those. All you need to do is go over to salvage and you need to salvage a legendary item. Now, if you're like me, I, well, I like to um, explore every inch of the map. So, I mean, by the time you get to here, you should have quite a few. If not, on your way, just make sure that you, you know, add some to your stash and, um, and that way it's, it's just a lot easier. But considering that this is uh, a, um, you know, uh, a normal playthrough. That this born searing look fifty one point seven damage. Um, that's that's pretty damn good considering uh, considering you know how early on in the game it is. Um, Born's impunity again forty four strength. Blah blah blah. You can see the stats on that. That is actually really really good. And uh, last but not least, um, Born's heart of steel. Which looks really, really good again. And 43 strength, vitality, armor. Now, as I said, this is on my first playthrough. So, for now, this is really good. Um, and you've got... You can socket an item, you know, a gem into that. So, you know, or we, I don't know, save up and put a really good gem in it. Um, as we know... Oh, sorry. As we know on this one, you have diamonds... Um, so you can, that does weapon to elites, uh, cooldown reduction, and resist all other, which is pretty damn good. Um, weapon damage, bonus helmet, uh, sorry, bonus helmet, bonus XP on the helm, and uh, strength for this one. So, see I've got chipped. Um, I haven't been able to do any yet because this guy hasn't turned up. But anyway, now I'm going to show you where to get the plans. So you want to come to here. See that weird glitch there? That was a bit. That was weird. Right. So you want to come to Stinging Winds, and I've done as much of the map as I possibly can, just to give you an idea. But it's all the way up here, and it's that one. Looks like a crab claw, basically, or a sea, whatever. So that is where you want to be, and it's the ruins level one. I got it in the ruins level one, and obviously I've already done it, so it's pointless me going in and showing you. But um, the elite monster that you're after, try and obviously get some Nephilim stacks before you encounter him. Um, don't know if that's necessary, but I definitely had two Nephilim stacks when I did it. Um, it's the elite was the uh, swarm of bees or whatever it is, not. Not the flying thing that shoots the little things out of its mouth. It's the actual little swarm of bees. That is actually what you want to be looking for. And this is what you will get. And uh, that sword looks pretty damn awesome. If I do say so myself. Which I just did. And I, I like the look of the... Um, well, I like the look of everything, really. And... Since I've had this, I've just been one-shotting everything. 532 damage, as you can see, which is not bad. Not at all. Um, nothing to be sneezed at. And skills. Yeah, right. On my skills, I had equipped this one, which was allowed me to have a two-handed weapon in one hand while I had my shield, because I'm a crusader, and most of my secondary skills are with a shield. So... Uh, it was the Zweihander that I had, actually. Yeah, but um, once you have this, um, you don't need to use that. So I'm using that one, 
which is a 15% increase with a one-handed weapon, which is ideal for, for, the, uh, for the setup that I've just done. So, yeah. So I'm pretty much one-shotting everything, basically. I know it's only normal playthrough, but this will this will do you um, extremely, extremely well. Um, up until, I don't know, Act 4, Act 5, I think. Um, I can't remember how many acts there are. But yeah, that's how you do it. So go and get the plans there. Come back here. Da, da, da. Um, salvage some legendary weapons to get the fire things for the uh, required materials and then make them. And that's how you do it, guys. So cheers for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with another video. Cheers.